Here it's 531 in this morning. The man who's accused of hitting a Cheviot police officer with a stolen car, then driving off will make his first court appearance. WCPO 9 News' Ali Kramer is live for us this morning. We got the latest on this case. And Ali, you've got to imagine, not only for the officer, glad that they're alive, but this suspect was shot at and could have died himself. Well, yeah, and so it's still unclear if he may or may not have been hit. Uh, either way, he is okay because 31-year-old Kyle James, he's in the Hamilton County Jail now, not in a hospital bed. So we expect to learn, learn more about kind of how everything unfolded. But you know what? It took an entire day searching for him yesterday from multiple agencies before they actually found him. Now, all of this initially started with that uh, kind of chase for a stolen car. And then James, the suspect, hitting that officer. Authorities then searched all day long. It was actually a canine officer that tracked James down to a wooded area just off Cleman Road. Multiple agencies were searching for him there, and the officer who was hit by James were told he suffered a knee injury, was checked out of the hospital, but was okay. He was able to fire two shots at James before he got away. In this newly released dispatch traffic, we hear how part of the encounter unfolded and why those on the radio thought that the officer might have been shot himself. I was 11, he's just stroking an officer. Ohio passengers, uh, Florida passengers, 390. Shots fired. Charles 41, I'm fine. He did not fire shots. I fired two. You know, what a relief, I'm sure, to hear on the dispatch, traf dispatch traffic rather between all of the officers involved in this that he was not hit. Uh, of course, James facing several charges this morning, including felony assault and felony fleeing. We expect more to be added. We'll be there for his first court appearance at 9 o'clock this morning. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. Allie